Wow, that's hot. Nailed it. Hello and welcome to. Oh, hang on, with my apron. Hello and welcome to Neil Bakes 2020, episode 8. 8. We're doing another technical. The last technical in this book. Uh, the next two aren't in it, so we're going to be using this book next week. Okay, we'll be making Sussex Pond Puddings. Never heard of them. No idea. Some very old. With the creme anglaise. I look like that. They've got a lemon inside. It's weird. Why would you why would you put a whole lemon in? Um, it's got some weird ingredients. Suet ingredients. Self-raising flour. White breadcrumbs. Two lemons. Unwaxed. Milk. The previously mentioned vegetable suet. Unsalted butter. Light brown sugar. Double cream. Eggs. Caster sugar and vanilla extract. Recipe says a pod. Fun fact, I bought a vanilla pod last night in the shop. I'm not I'm lost already, I don't know where it is. Also need a steamer. Luckily I have this, because steaming vegetables is the best way to cook your vegetables. And it doesn't look great, but we, we will see how it turns out. Okay, on your marks, get set, bake. Now oh, I've never ever used this. What is it, what, what is it? Oh, just vegetable oil. Flour. I mean, this is old school. I mean, doesn't smell of anything. Oh god! Look at this. It looks really weird. I mean, it looks like something you'd put on the end of a fishing line. Wrapped everything. Now it's time to go. See if the flour into a bowl and add the breadcrumbs. Okay. Add the breadcrumbs, lemon zest, and suet. Hundred and ten grams of salt breaking flour. So we've got fifty grams of breadcrumbs, seventy-five grams of vegetable suet, one lemon zest. Yeah, mix them up with fifty ml of water and stir into the flour mixture to a soft but not sticky dough. Knead for one to two minutes, then divide the dough in half. Just add it in a bit at a time. You. This must be an old, you know, they have very dry food. And like, back in there, very dry food. Scraper, put that in half. Okay, step two, one piece at a time. Break off a quarter of the dough, half, cover and set aside. Well, the larger piece on a lightly fired work surface until it's seven, seven millimeters thick and will line the first pudding mold. Roll this out. Okay, we've lined them, put some grease chip paper in the bottom, so it looks stick to the bottom, line it with butter, should be alright. Stick it in. Okay, I guess we're gonna just press this together. Oh my god, it's breaking up so much. How he's supposed to do this, I have no idea. Okay, that's as good as I'm gonna get them. This is ridiculous. Now that they're somewhat made, some sort of bowl type thing. Next one is make the filling. In a bowl, mix the butter and sugar together. 
and place one quarter of the mixture in the base of each pudding bowl and then make it up to lemon. So we've got 125 grams of unsalted butter. Right in there. 125 grams of light brown sugar. Beat this together. This might take about five, ten minutes. Oh my god, hands already hurting. Ow. You can do it all by hand because they wouldn't have had any machines when they were making this in the I don't know, 1700s. Do. Mixed up a couple of uh, tablespoons full. No idea. Okay, one lemon at a time. Place the cup side down on the work surface and make two horizontal cuts, one quarter of the way down and three quarters of the way down, cutting almost but not all the way through. We take 180 degrees and uh, make a similar cut halfway. And I get some weird concertina like, like. halfway down the other side. Yeah. yeah, okay, that'll do. Place one lemon pointed end down in the pastry. Okay, so stick that in there. that one in there. Okay, halfway done. Stick the rest of the filling in and then make a top. Base? Top. Which will be a base. Oh. While the remaining pastry to make two lids, each the same thickness as the base, push the pastry around the rim of the moulds with water, then top with the lids and press it together firmly to seal. Okay, lids are on. Now I'm just going to make the protective casing over the top, then we'll steam them. 100% guarantee they will leak. I've got a hole here, there's a hole, definitely a hole in there. Okay, I've made some little foil and baking paper circles. Made them six centimeters larger than diameter at the top of the bowls because apparently you need to make a plate in the middle. I'm missing this there to hold this in place. The foil. Oh yeah, I definitely need the string. How am I supposed to tie this on? I don't know how to do this. This is just going to come off. This is ridiculous. How are you supposed to tie it up? So these, useless, not big enough. I'm gonna make it like this, with a bit more. So I had to look online as to how to do this, because these explanations, this is ridiculous. Rubbish. It says, to do this, then wrap it around like this. And this is a bit better. Okay, one is done. This is taking, I'm pretty sure this is taking longer than actually making the pudding. Oh. Right, extra big pink. Okay, right, this should not be enough. That'll do, that'll do. Okay, into the steamer they go. The handles work. Oh, crap. Didn't think about this. I don't fit in the steamer. Okay. Got it stopped. Ugh. Okay, we sorted it. 
managed to find a pan and I've shoved the steamer thing into it. So they're both steaming. Two hours, we'll be back. Update, they've been steaming for about an hour. This is a faff. I've had so many problems with this. One, the pan at the front got stuck, so, oh, so I couldn't get it off, which meant that the water all, all evaporated, so I couldn't get it off and it was just burning the pan. It says in the recipe, top it up if necessary. You definitely need to top this up, top the water up. Okay, so I've got my two pudding steaming there. There's about 20 minutes left, 15, 20 minutes left. I'm gonna make the creme anglaise now. I'm gonna half the recipe that's in the book because it's too much that I'm gonna need. I'm not gonna need that much. So I've got 125 mils of milk in the pan, 125 mils of double cream, a teaspoon and a half of vanilla extract. I've got three egg yolks going into here. 30 grams of pasta sugar going in. Yeah, whisk until pale and fluffy. Then pour in the warm milk mixture over the egg. Just about, just about gonna boil. I'm gonna pour in um, it drop by drop because I don't want to cook the eggs. Because it's very hot. Right, let's go back on the heat. Uh, we're gonna cook it for three or four minutes until it coats the back of a spoon. Just get it a bit thicker. Uh, okay, this is the moment of truth. Hopefully, it's all right. I mean, the handles work pretty well. I'll leave those to cool. This is going back on the heat now. Yeah, that coats the back of a spoon, doesn't it? Okay, off the heat. Oh, it's nice and brown. It's a little bit soft. Just like this, yes. And then make sure I don't. Oh. 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 Yes! That's leaking. <gasps> nice. Dinner time. I mean, overall, amazing. I'm so happy that they managed to turn out all right. They've got a bit of a dip in the middle. Honestly, I thought they would split completely because of the gaps that I put in it, but they didn't. Praise the Lord. See if it oozes out with, with lemon and stuff. Oh, 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 oh yeah. I can definitely see why I tell, call it a pond as well. Look at all this. Okay, I put uh, my creme anglaise on, kind of doused it in it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my god, oh my god. That, oh, that tastes amazing. Pastry nice and soft, but the filling, it's like a caramelized lemon with, with that sweetness of the, of the creme anglaise. Oh my god, that sauce is really nice. Mm 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 mm. mm. Let's just try a bit of the, the pastry by itself. Mm. mm. It's nice and smooth. It's definitely like a jam molly poly. Like what you get with jam molly poly. Presentation wise, it doesn't look the nicest, but mine turned out amazingly. They both stayed upright, they didn't split. Sussex pond pudding. Nailed it! Oh, nice. Okay, next week, the semi-final. There's only two left. Okay, I'm gonna finish this off. 
very happy with how that turned out. But, oh, 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 oh